Hi, I'm Cheryl Hunter. In my last video, I revealed the number one key to winning in life and in business, honoring your word. By that, I mean doing what you said you would do, when you said you would do it, and doing it in the way it was meant to be done or better. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's say you've given your word. You've promised that you're going to lose weight, or you've promised that you're going to write a book, or you've promised that you're going to start your own company. Well, how do you do that? How do you consistently take the actions and take them over time that are going to fulfill upon your commitment? Well, I'm going to show you one of the most reliable and effective systems that I've ever seen. It is the system of using consequences and rewards. Using consequences and rewards originates in behaviorism. The system of consequences and rewards is utilized heavily in elementary education for the simple reason that it works. Now, while this is a system that is tailor-made to adults, the basic theory remains the same, which is that sometimes you have to invent, incentivize yourself to do the things that are best for you. So, Let's say you were going to create a consequence. First of all, if you're going to create a consequence, the point of creating one is not that you ever do the consequence. The point of creating a consequence is to create one that is so repellent to you, the very thought of it, that you never ever have to do it. <laughs> you want to create one that even if you ever transgress, you don't keep your word, and you have to perform the consequence, you have to pay that consequence, it is so distasteful to you that you never ever want to have to do it again. Now what's key in designing a consequence is to tell everybody around you that's closest to you so that they too can support you. If you try to make a promise and a consequence by yourself, you're living in a vacuum, you're in fantasy land, you are never going to keep that. It doesn't make any difference. You've got to win, a, a, engage your community to have it make any difference. Here's an example of an effective consequence. There was a woman I knew who really wanted to quit smoking. She had had difficulty in doing so, so she retained me as her coach. And one of the things we first did was put together a system of consequences. She created the consequence that for every cigarette she smoked, she was going to have to pay her 15-year-old niece a hundred bucks that would go toward her niece's new car fund when she turned 16. Now, as you can imagine, everybody in the family was very interested to see how it was going to go. Of course, they all wanted her to quit. But perhaps no one more than the 15-year-old niece who started hounding her. She policed her. She went to her house and smelled her clothes and smelled her aunt's breath and smelled her car to always see if she was smoking. Now, my client only had to pay 300 bucks before she stopped smoking. It has been four years and she has never had another cigarette. Very effective. But maybe a consequence isn't for you. You feel that a reward might be more fitting for you. Well, if you want to enact a reward, you should know that that is a very powerful motivator because you're now setting brain science into play. The reward center of the brain is a primal motivator and it's very good at helping you keep your, your word if you use it in your favor. So using a reward, just like creating a consequence, is something that you need to enlist the help of the people closest to you about in doing. You don't want to just do that again in a vacuum. It's not going to work for you. So if, for example, we revert to the previous example of saying that you were going to write a book and you wanted to use a reward system. You could, for example, allow yourself to have a massage. Give that to yourself as a reward for every 5,000 words you write or 10,000 words you write. Whatever reward you create, just make sure that it's compelling enough to draw you forward and make you want to honor your word. Whether you're creating a consequence or a reward, make sure that when you design them, you design ones that will ultimately help you fulfill upon the word that you've given. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.